man, we gotta ban guns and we gotta make fighting like fighting in the streets like make that a hundred percent legal to where the cops can't arrest you or nothing like that. You feel me? Cause like, bro, why can't we just punch it out? Like, put the guns down. Everybody should have like some boxing gloves in their backpack or some boxing gloves at all time. Like if somebody hits your car on the highway, you can get out, and just beat their ass. Or if somebody look at you the wrong way, you should be able to just fight. Put the guns away. Because, you know, the issue with the guns is that it's never no coming back from it. And none of this stuff is ever that permanent. You feel me? Even what happened with Kate Flock and O.Y. Walker. They could have gotten a fist fight that day. And who knows? 20 years down the line from now, they could have been best friends. They could have ended up being neighbors. And, yo, remember we had beef back in the day? Issues happen in life, but none of it is permanent. You know, you could have a beef with somebody from, you might be best friends with them 30 years down the line. You feel me? Time heals everything. And at the same time, we mature, we grow, we realize that none of this is serious. You feel me? Shooting somebody because you don't like them or they from a ne another neighborhood, that's like buying groceries, taking them home and throwing them away. You're wasting resources, you're wasting money and time. It makes no sense. Now, I guess uh, K Flock got a win in this case because the government announced that they would that they wouldn't be seeking a death penalty. Now, from a simple Google search, I found out that the death penalty is illegal in New York State. So anyway, he wasn't going to get it in general. And for him to even receive a death penalty for that would be, come on, that would be nuts, dog. It's serial killers who don't even receive death penalties. You feel me? Serial killers who do not receive death penalties. Hear me again. There are serial killers who do not receive death penalties. So for K-Flock to get a death penalty for shooting this op in the hood, that's kind of ridiculous. You feel me? But anyways, free K-Flock. This situation is in pretty much seems like it's self-defense or he seemed like he was kind of... He kind of want to fight that and make it seem like it was self-defense. It seemed like homie was walking by the barbershop. Homie walked out the barbershop looking for Flock. And Flock ended up up in it. The main issue is that it's in New York. You can't really have no guns to be shooting at people in New York. It's not Georgia and it's damn sure not Florida. So Flock was bugging out for that. But anyways, free him. The sad thing is this. Najee BK didn't learn from the situation. TG Flock didn't learn from the situation. Najee Sweep didn't learn from the situation. There are a few people who probably learned from the situation, and I'll be the blessing of it all. Hopefully, K Flock comes home soon, and hopefully, Owawaka's family gets the grief. Digital thugs in my like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.